Useful phrases for beginners, part 10 and the last one. If you're watching me for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and you click on the notification button to get all videos. Hey guys, this is Omnia Asma talking to you, hope you're doing well. And in this video, we are going to finish our series useful phrases for beginners. Number 91 here, I'm saying guys, you got my attention. You got my attention. If somebody did something and this thing kept me looking at this person, so I'm gonna say, you got my attention. You got my attention. Number 92. I go to the club once a week. I go to the club once a week. So I need you guys to gain this word from this phrase. Once it means one time. So I go to the club once a week. Let's move on to number 93. I visit my grandparents twice a month. I visit my grandparents twice a month. So once it means one time, twice it means two times. And grandparents, it refers to my grandfather and my grandmother. So instead of saying grandfather and grandmother, I'm gonna say grandparents. So I visit my grandparents twice a month. Let's move on to number 94. If you saw something and it was like, wow, this is really amazing, you can use this phrase. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. That, this is reduction for that is. And here you can say fascinating British accent or you can say fascinating American accent. So final time, let's listen to this phrase in the American accent. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. Moving to the phrase after that, number 95, stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. We use this phrase with someone if we really love them. So stay with me. And you can add stay with me forever, for example. So, what about number 96? If you ever need to talk, I'm always here. If you ever need to talk, I'm always here. We use this phrase if we have a strong relationship between a friend or a lover or even you can use it with your brothers and sisters. So, if you ever need to talk, I'm always here. Number 97. Push back. Push back. And take care, guys, that we shifted from this P sound into this B sound. So push back, push back. Push back, it's like a motivational phrase that we use if you have a problem and you feel very sad and that you can't do anything in your life. So you can motivate the person by saying this phrase, push back, push back. Number 98. She's named after her mother. She's named after her mother. She's named after her mother. This means, guys, that if my mother is called Layla, for example, so my name will be Layla as well. She's named after her mother. Number 99. I love you to the moon and back. I love you to the moon and back. This phrase is most commonly used between lovers and it means that you extremely love the person. So, I love you to the moon and back. Let's move on to number 100 and the last one from this series, I'm over cloud nine. And this phrase, guys, means that you are extremely happy. You are jumping out of joy and this means you are extremely happy. And instead of saying, I am very happy, you can use this phrase. It's really amazing. I'm over cloud nine. By this phrase, guys, we've reached the end of this episode and the end, actually, of this series from the beginning. My best wishes, Omnia Esma. Thank you so much for watching, guys, this series. You now know 100 English expressions with their Arabic meaning. And, of course, for more videos, guys, you can subscribe to my channel now and turn on the notification button to get all videos on the spot. Of course, have a lovely day.